have a game plan. Yeah, these collective energies that are coming in here with this shift change over the next weeks. I'm not talking months or years. I'm talking weeks, guys. They will be shocking for some of us. Some of us are complacent enough, I want to say, and this includes myself at the age of 55, uh, to believe that there are certain things we just won't experience anymore. Yeah, like things that maybe our parents or grandparents have experienced. This will shift, okay? And I don't want to scare you, but I have been talking about safety, security, belonging, home, family, and money for one and a half years now. You need to take care of the things that need to be taken care of. And I'm not saying that you have to conform or comply. What I'm saying is the guidance that you already have, you know what you are supposed to do. You already know that, but you're not doing that. And so when you get pulled into this looping of your mind, it's because there's something there that you're not following. For some of us, it's the not trusting in the guidance. And for others, it's not really seeing the purpose. It's thinking that you know better. Okay? And either way, it leads to a conflict in you that is painful. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to our energy update for week 25 called Spiritual Action. My name is Jona Brindes. I'm an energy healer, energy trainer, and visionary. And every week on Fridays, we are looking a week ahead what these outer energies might do with our personal energy. So this is not a prediction. This is not something like a reading this is something to give you a heads up of what it is that you might be feeling inside and perhaps helping you to recontextualize those energies yes and i'm always happy to see you here on skype live you are more than a welcome to text uh, and to contribute here in any way if you have any questions please feel free to ask so this uh, coming week, uh, which is uh, called Spiritual Action, goes from the 18th till the 24th of June. It's a very important week this year. It's a solstice week. And this is always a, a, a week where, there's, where we experience a shift change. In the forecast for June, I've already announced this. There is a lot of uh, things speeding up now. There's a lot of things going faster than they've gone before. The last two, three weeks were quite heavy on, especially if you were energetically sensitive. Yeah, and uh, we may have felt some of the pathologies of, of our own psyche, of not feeling connected, of feeling alone, of maybe even wanting to throw the towel or no longer knowing what we're doing all this for. Can you guys relate to this? Yeah, so there is there's this confusion in us that has pulled us into our minds. And I don't know about you, but even I felt this laying in bed at night, being dead tired and not being able to fall asleep because there were some things that I could not resolve with my mind and all I found myself doing was looping, looping, looping. And the only thing that could help in those moments was actually to go into a conscious disruption, a conscious uh, sort of choosing to no longer wanting to stay in the space, to disrupt that state through something like prayer, for example. I have prayed a lot this last week, to be honest with you. But the point is not about reciting your prayer and, and you know, sort of feeling protected because you, you did your dues. Yeah, so this has to do with spiritual action that I'm getting 
into right now. This has to do with you actually feeling it, feeling every single word, feeling what it is that you are actually saying there. Yeah, I can, I hear you guys. And you know, if you found yourself in a place where it wasn't even possible for you to say a prayer that is maybe, you know, I don't know, six sentences or eight sentences long and stay fully present with those words yeah for like how long does this usually take a minute then you are in good company but the good thing is this is all now past we're having a shift change now and there's the solstice energy that um, it has to do with the seasons, that has to do with these planetary cycles. And what does the summer solstice here in the northern hemisphere, what does the summer solstice stand for? It stands for you moving into your masculine, your mature and your healed masculine. I think last week I said something about uh, recognizing what these healed aspects in you are. And there is, of course, no doubt that we are still living in societies that are heavily dominated by a um, you know patriarchal system without going into the politics of this and that there is an imbalance here we all feel this the, the, the imbalance comes into our lives through our own thinking yeah through needing a rationale needing a, a good justification a good reason for what we're doing or what we're not doing, okay? And that is a sign that our masculine energies aren't quite balanced yet because there's the, the feminine energies in us that uh, can easily tune into creativity, into going with the flow, into trusting that things will come together, yeah, even if they haven't materialized yet. And this was a little bit too much here too with the last weeks of this first half of the year yeah we now need to move into more concrete action so in that it represents the, the the masculine part in us that now needs to step up in a more mature way perhaps we have been rebelling against things or we're angry at things or frustrated frustration is really really strong this last week yeah and now it's time to step up yeah there are subjects in your life there are things in your life that you know you need to do and there is no need to talk about it anymore you just need to do them yeah yeah and it doesn't matter what it is it's very practical very pragmatic and seen in the context with global energies I'll talk about this in a little moment here because this is, is not something we like to hear. But in context with what is going on in the world, it means that we need to step into autonomy, into self-responsibility, into accountability. So these are activities, if you will, yeah, these are choices that are linked to your masculine energies. They have to do with the courage to step into self-actualization, into self-expression. So most of what is going on, and I don't know if you can hear this in me, uh, but my throat chakra here, my fifth chakra, is, is kind of strained, okay? Because I have already translated those things in this week. Many of you know this. I was uh, working with kids all week, and it has done exactly what I am going to recommend to you here for this next week namely it connected me in this beautiful way to my creativity to my faith to the love for what i am doing the purpose of why i'm here and this is the hump now guys that you will feel here in these next seven days yeah and spiritual action, this is an interesting word if you think about it, because spiritual is typically associated with feminine energies and action is associated with masculine energies. Yeah, so if you're in the southern hemisphere, for example, for you it's the other way around. You need to stop 
you know, trusting too much in your reasons, in causality, in the, the justifications, you need to step into more of this intuitive phase. And for us in the Northern Hemisphere, it's about stop trying to figure things out, to think things through, or to find a good reason. Yeah, work with your heart and be okay with the inner guidance that comes in, yeah, that shows you something that hasn't materialized yet, but bring this into a pragmatic expression. You can't just sit there and say, oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, I feel this coming, and then uh, in a few months say, oh yeah, 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 I felt this coming all along, but not take any actions. That will have karmic re repercussions for you, and it will lead to conflictions inside of you. Who of you is, has been energetically sensitive all their life and has felt things coming on perhaps years ahead of time and never actually acted on it? Yeah, I see you guys' thumbs up. This now needs to be translated. So spiritual action is basically the action that you command, that you will, out of your own inside that comes from this energetic guidance, this inner guidance, the true self guidance. We had a wonderful true self, connect with your true self session yesterday. And just so you don't forget, on Tuesday, on the summer solstice, we will have a second free energy self-healing session, namely connect with your higher self at 6 a.m. Florida time. That is, I guess, 11 a.m. for you guys in Europe, anywhere noon or 11 a.m. And the evening hours for you guys in um, uh, Australia or in New Zealand. So. Uh, this is at the peak of the solstice, uh, right then when this dance yeah, between those energies is taking place. And the purpose of this Connect With Your Higher Self session is to really tune into the guidance that is coming forward for you. And then to make a plan, to have a game plan. Yeah? These collective energies that are coming in here with this shift change over the next weeks, I'm not talking months or years, I'm talking weeks, guys, yeah? Obviously, you know, continuing the whole entire second half of the year. They will be shocking for some of us. Some of us are complacent enough, I want to say, and this includes myself at the age of 55, uh, to believe that there are certain things we just won't experience anymore. Yeah, like things that maybe our parents or grandparents have experienced. This will shift, okay? And I don't want to scare you, but I have been talking about safety, security, belonging, home, family, and money for one and a half years now. Actually, for more than that. But increasingly, since last year, you need to take care of the things that need to be taken care of. And I'm not saying that you have to conform or comply. What I'm saying is the guidance that you already have, you know what you are supposed to do. You already know that, but you're not doing that. And so when you get pulled into this looping of your mind, it's because there's something there that you're not following. So for us, for, or for some of us, it's the not trusting in the guidance. And for others, it's not really seeing the purpose. It's thinking that you know better. Okay? And either way, it leads to a conflict in you that is painful. So a spiritual action, guys, is an action that comes from a place that you feel as inner guidance. So I guess in, in popular talk, this would be called spiritual. Yeah, Here as, as energy coaches, as energy workers, as energy managers, we don't necessarily call this spiritual. But 
it is a place within you that comes from your spirit being rather than your, let's say, rational mind, okay? So let's just define this here, that everything not coming from your ego mind, your rational ego mind, is spiritual. I'm okay with this for as long as we agree that that's what we're talking about, all right? So the spiritual action is an action that you base on that spiritual thinking, that is a conscious thinking, a conscious listening to your inner guidance, your inner signals, and sometimes also something that you know you perceive in dreams or that you perceive through visioning. Those of you who have trained their energetic sensitivity have gotten quite good at this, all right? But it still needs to align to who you truly are. So this is something that I found uh, very, very tricky for a lot of people, namely to discern what spiritual thinking, spiritual talking, and spiritual walking is. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? One of my favorite subjects, New Age. So there is this belief that when you do spiritual talking, which is a reciting, yeah, like in the beginning I talked about this prayer, just reciting it, yeah, like, a, like an automatic, like an automatism, yeah, or something that you hear all the time and you just repeat it without actually feeling it in you, without really checking if this is something that you subscribe to. So spiritual talking, guys, has nothing to do with spiritual thinking. And spiritual thinking, yeah, which would be... Um, uh, let's say, a, a more internalized a, a, a experience from within yourself yeah, of this spiritual talk is a little more authentic. But it is actually the spiritual walking yeah, that shows you who you truly are. So most of us do this the wrong way around. Okay? We sign up for a diet or for a certain type of talk or a course or whatever, and then we think that's what we are. And then we start experiencing conflicts within because we're not actually sure what it was that we signed up there. And this is when the spiritual thinking isn't possible. Spiritual thinking has to come through a, a coherence between what you are saying what you're thinking, and what you're willing, what you are putting out there. When that becomes coherent, then we talk of spiritual acting, guys. That is very, very powerful manifestation. And if you're part of our Sacred Self Healing Community here, then you followed along all year with the Karmic Manifestation Workshop Series that I do for you guys for free once a month, and where, where I systematically pulled this all apart for you, all right? And this is very, very important to understand. None of that is magical. None of that is, you know, I want to say woo-woo, but you know, it kind of is woo-woo, but it's not, all right? It's not something that you cannot relate to. On the contrary, it is the conscious acting that is based on the conscious thinking, yeah? the discerning and your inner experience that gives you the power because that is what links you back in to who you truly are. How many of you think thoughts all day long, yeah? including your critical inner voice and your negative inner self-talk, and actually sit down and work with it. Have you actually thought those thoughts yourself? Is this actually something that you would say to yourself or to somebody else? I don't think so. Yes. That's what a conscious thinker does. You investigate the thoughts that are going on inside of you and throw out the ones that you have been conditioned with or that are just tape recordings from the past. 
And then you go a step farther and you investigate every single word you say. Because guess what? Your words are power. They express your energy. And if you say something, you better mean it. Yeah? Only say things you mean. Only mean things you say. Because only then can you have inner peace. This confliction that we all experience and what, you know, lets, you know, what makes it so hard for us to fall asleep at night is that there is an incongruence there. And so ultimately all pain, all spiritual and, and psychic pain, which includes our ego pain, comes from us not being aware, not being fully conscious with what we're thinking, what we're saying, and what we're expressing in this world. And this is the deeper teaching, I want to say, of the solstice, the summer solstice this year, yeah, for us to step into a more mature stance. One of the exercises that I give to my clients, and it's difficult for everyone, even though you think it's simple, and it is, it is to learn how to say, yes, I'm doing this because I feel like it. Yes, I do this because this feels right to me. No, I'm not doing that because this doesn't feel right to me. Or yet, you can add, you know, you can add yet because sometimes you just simply didn't have the time to feel and think this through. Right? To don't make decisions if you haven't consciously thought them through. That's how you prevent this, this mental looping. Yeah? And when you get caught in these spaces where, you know, this is, is going like a machine, do you really think that that is you? No. For someone like me who's trained in this, who works with energies from other people and collective energies every day. I know exactly when something that is coming in, yeah, um, my mind, that my mind is thinking, that I'm hearing in my head, is mine or not. This doesn't mean that my body and my emotions aren't reacting to it. Yeah? So I, I can't help that. That's part of my nervous system. But all the energy management training allows me to consciously calm this down allows me to find this place within me where i can say okay right now i am consciously thinking i am consciously feeling i am consciously choosing and coming back to the example in the beginning with the prayer or the affirmation or the invocation that you resort to when you feel that your mind is going out of control or your nervous system is going out of control. I don't care how long it is. It can be, you know, 20 words. All right. But you need to be able to say this prayer or this affirmation or this invocation consciously, word for word. And as soon as you catch your mind drifting off, thinking about something else, or, you know, like uh, it, it, just losing the end of the sentence. You need to will your thinking back to the beginning. And there were times this week where it took me over 20 minutes to finish something simple like the grace prayer that I like. It's a non-denominational prayer that is just asking for healing and for all that that needs to be healed to be revealed. If you want me to, I can post it here. There is a five-minute alignment on my SoundCloud channel where you can download free MP3s. And also, as a free monthly service, the Faith Energy Alignment for June. Yeah, I made that accessible for you guys. I produce these monthly energy alignments in the energetic tune-up sessions for the people that sign up for this monthly energy clearing and reading the next one is actually coming up next week already and that would be on the oh, that was may on the 23rd at 10 p.m 
Florida time. But before that, guys, please feel invited to come to the Connect With Your Higher Self free energy self-healing session on Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. with following live talk, talking about these internalizations. Yeah. And for those of you who feel compelled to step into this spiritual action, yeah, to no longer just talk about things and why you can't do things and all this, yeah, you can maybe decide to come to Iceland. Yeah, now that some of your countries have opened up for travel for unvaccinated, yes, in from uh, June 27th, that is Monday in 10 days, till July 1st, you can join me at our energy retreat in Iceland for five days. I can assure you that this will kick your spiritual butt <laughs> in a good way. All right, guys, I'm looking at your chat here, and it's beautiful to see how many of you actually felt exactly the same way. This is the power of sharing. This is the power of spiritual action. All right. So it could be as simple as connecting with other people. If you're asking me, spirituality is nothing but connection on all these different levels. Connecting with our body, connecting with our emotions, connecting with our thoughts, connecting with you know a higher power in our life and also connecting with the own spirit being our own and other spirit beings such as oh, the divine the planet yeah crystals spirit guides angels you name it yeah so these are just different layers of the same expression and our job or our goal should be to be congruent in that. Yeah. Remember, the purpose of your journey here as soul selves with a 3D experience is spiritual autonomy. Knowing who you are, what you are, and what you came here for. All right, guys. Wonderful. Hope to see many of you on Tuesday. I'll send the RSVP link here in the chat. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. My name is Jona Brintis and I am the founder of Trans Cults Energy Healing and Energy Therapy. And only once a year I teach those sacred self-healing techniques in person. Iceland Energy Retreat June 27th till July 1st. Yes! If you are considering to come to this wonderful five-day event in which we learn how to harness our life force, how to quicken it, and how to translate it into our unique expression, then come to this wonderful event. The retreat takes place in my home country, Iceland, and very close to the Golden Circle at Solhamar, a 92-year-old eco-village that was founded by friends of Rudolf Steiner's. So if you need a few days to quicken your life force, then this might be just for you. It's a small, intimate group. You do not have to have any experience in energy healing or energy work. And together, we will discover how to bring our love, our self-love into action. We will create incredible memories together. We will do everything together and learn how to implement clear thinking, clear sensing, clear action, clear decisions and clear living. Tickets are on sale. Go to my website, transcodes.com or email me at yona, J-O-N-A, at transcodes.com. I am excited. <laughs>